what are the structures that can be palpated through vaginal walls anteriorly bladder and urethra laterally ureters and anterior fibers of level ani muscles posteriorly perineal body rectal ambula loops of ilium and sigmoid colon in pouch of douglas this vagina have glands no then how is it kept in moist by the mucus secretions of bartholin's glands lying deep to posterior parts of labia majora what are the supporters of vagina upper third of vagina is supported by levator and i muscle transverse cervical pubic cervical and sacro cervical ligaments middle third of vagina is supported by urogenital diaphragm lower third of vagina is supported by perineal body what are the structures that can be damaged during vaginal delivery perineal body and anal sphincters what is perineal body a fibromuscular node that gives attachment for anal sphincters bulbous spongiosis muscles the transverse perineal muscles and fibers of levator ani it lies in the midline at the junction of anterior and posterior perineum when do we perform episiotomy when it is obvious that perineum will tear before the baby's head emerges through the vaginal orifice what is the direction posterior lateral direction why is that to avoid anal sphincters what are the layers that incise during this procedure skin vaginal epithelium subcutaneous fat perineal body superficial transverse perineal muscles when do we perform purendal nerve block during second stage of difficult labor what are the bony landmarks used in purendal nerve block ischial spine or ischial tuberosity what is the pathway of pudendal nerve after its origin from sacral plexus it leaves pelvic cavity through the greater sciatic foramen and runs in gluteal region then it enters to perineum through lesser sciatic foramen it gives inferior rectal nerve in ischial anal fossa then passes in pudendal canal and give perineal nerve and dorsal nerve of penis in males or dorsal nerve of clitoris in female what is the nerve supply of vulva anterior parts are supplied by iliopharyngeal nerve and genital branch of genital femoral nerve posterior parts are supplied by the branches of perineal nerve and posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh what are the anatomical relations of bladder of an adult male anteriorly pubic symphysis posteriorly rectum termination of vas deferens and seminal vesicles superiorly the coils of small intestine and sigmoid colon laterally levator ani muscle and obturator internus muscle bladder neck fuses with prostate gland tell me about the anatomy of prostate gland it is a pyramidal shaped fibromuscular glandular organ which surrounds prostatic urethra it lies between the neck of the bladder above and urogenital triangle below it is surrounded by thin fibrous capsule called true capsule external to true capsule there is a false capsule formed by condensation of extra peritoneal fascia prostatic venous plexus lies in between true and false capsules it is incompletely divides into five lobes middle lobe lies between urethra and ejaculatory ducts it is rich in glands posterior lobe lies posterior to urethra and below the ejaculatory ducts right and left lateral lobes lie on either side of urethra and separated one another by a shallow vertical groove 
These lobes contain glands, but anterior lobe, which lies in front of urethra, is devoid of glands. 